Hello Capricorn, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on for you in love, uh, who you might be dealing with, and what is um, next for you. Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, for Capricorn, Spirit Angels, what messages, guidance do you have for Capricorn? Regarding love, relationships, do what can Capricorn expect? Spirit? Let's see what we get for you guys. Don't forget to check out your other placements if your sun sign doesn't resonate, because sometimes your moon, your rising, or any other significant placement in your birth chart can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so let's see for Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn? Right. So what's currently going on or what you can expect in love is temperance, Sagittarius energy, the five of cups. Wow, judgment. Okay. And uh, who you might be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Page of wands, three of cups, death, Scorpio energy. And what can you expect next? The magician, eight of wands. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so overall energy. Um, disinterest. Um, focused on what has already taken place or what's in front of you rather than what's coming in or what could be coming in. Um, Four of Cups could also be a card about like depression or missing opportunities because you don't see them. It could be rejection as well. You could see it kind of as this person rejecting the cup that's being offered to them um so we'll see what we get um when we clarify but what i see here is i think um with the page of wands on your person's energy and then the magician with the eight of wands down here on the what you can expect it's almost like there's action that this person is taking or they're reaching out in some way taking the initiative taking a risk the page of wands is definitely a risk taker and the magician is a doer so we'll see what this is all about. Let's get a little bit more clarity. Let me get some clarity, please, on the energies for Capricorn and this other person. What do we need to know? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Scorpio, a water sign. What do we need to know about the energies and this connection? Coming together. Destiny has brought you together. Reunion Destiny Meeting. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Past life. You have had a connection with this person in the past. Oh yeah. So I feel like this is someone wanting to reconnect from your past or a past life connection. Bottom of the deck, I have cold shoulder. Someone's feeling shut out. So maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication or a lot of, you know, quote unquote warmth. <laughs> In this connection, there's probably a distance, a silence, a coldness when it comes to um, you and this person interacting, right? So let's get some clarity. Now, the Five of Cups is in the center here on what's going on. So this could be regret, sadness, disappointment. Judgment could be seen as a card of like re resurrecting something, reviving something. A realization about the past so we'll get a little bit more clarity for Capricorn why is temperance here why is temperance here if you're curious about any of the decks that I use my own decks which are um, stellar energy and stellar guidance that I'm going to be featuring today I think stellar rainbow as well all of that information is in the description box tell me about temperance The High Priestess, Three of Swords. Okay, I feel like someone has secretly wanted to um, resolve a conflict or maybe they haven't communicated this, but this is what they're feeling with the Three of Swords. Something has been painful and um, someone wants to slowly bring this into harmony, into balance with Temperance. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Also, Temperance could be um, a sign of something that has taken a long time 
taken a long time to resolve itself, to um, balance itself out. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? And the Three of Cups is in your person's energy. So they could definitely be thinking about coming together here, reuniting with you, celebrating with you. Tell me about the Five of Cups. And I think with death card here, maybe they've gone through some sort of change or they ended things with you or they were the cause of the end of this connection because I'm assuming something didn't take off or something ended for someone to want to res resurrect it and start over. Five of Cups, Nine of Wands, the world. Well, this could be interpreted as someone that even though Things have been difficult, even though there's sadness, regret, they are not giving up. They're not giving in. They're still in this. Um, and what the world is like, let's have a do-over. Capricorn, this has been an ongoing theme for readings. I don't know what is going on. If you're sitting there, you're like, this again? <laughs> it's because there hasn't been anything that has happened there. So someone's energy is still showing up because they're still thinking about this, planning this, wanting this, etc., um, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're, if someone, okay, for this to move forward, someone needs to talk. Eight of Wands is here in the what you can expect. So I feel like this is something that someone already knows. You know, there's some sort of information that has to be exchanged here. Some sort of truth that needs to be expressed, etc. Tell me about Judgment. Tell me about judgment. I'm also picking up with that five of cups and the nine of wands. There might be trust issues because of the past, because of the difficulty that this connection has had or, you know, whatever has happened here. Tell me about judgment. Four of wands. Yeah, someone's thinking about let's have um, harmony again. Stability. Can I get one more for judgment? Someone wants to come home is what I heard. Let me come home. So I don't know if you threw someone out or if you are home to someone. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Oh, the tower. Oh, yeah. So I feel like someone has definitely, some, there, there has been something that has already happened in this connection. Um, Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think that this has was not resolved. It's like someone has suppressed the pain or ignored the real reason why something happened. Or maybe they were blind to it because judgment is here. Judgment will let you know exactly what you missed. Let's get some insight on this person. Tell me more about the person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? Romantic, charming, and passionate. Someone's feeling the, the love here. That's definitely Page of Wands energy. What else do we need to know about this particular person? What else do we need to know? Confident, secure, and self-assured. Oh yeah, definitely Page of Wands energy. So I feel like this is somebody that... Um... <laughs> okay, I heard talk a good game. <laughs> or they're really good at this, you know, suave, maybe suave or charismatic... Um, dress as well, handsome or attractive, because it could be male or female. Um, very confident in themselves. I, I, I get the sense that this is someone that knows how to woo someone, how to approach someone. Um, I do not think this is a shy individual. <laughs> so, okay. Page of Wands is the, the first card that I was like, okay, yeah, this is somebody that's very... 
Um, let's get this done, charismatic, etc. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What's this Page of Wands? And notice too in this deck, Page of Wands and the Magician right above each other here. They're holding their hand up. It's like I'm making this happen. I'm doing this on my own kind of thing. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What do we need to know about the Page of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Okay. Why is the Page of Wands here? Because this Four of Pentacles is not Page of Wands energy. Are you talking about the Page of Wands? These two. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Nine of Cups. Ooh. There's something that has kept this person from coming forward up till now. I feel like uh, this is like the breaks. Like they've been had like, or a muzzle. <laughs> They've been, they've been um, held back, but not by their own choice. It's like something was holding this person back. Because, you know, they're definitely thinking about what they desire, what they want. And it's for this to work out. For them to be able to come forward. Ooh, the moon. Pisces energy. I think that this person, hmm... There could be um, a situation where they have had to be quiet or they've been, again, muzzled. Maybe they were blocked or they weren't allowed to speak to you or you weren't allowed to speak to them because there's not um, a lot of clarity about your side of things, Capricorn. They know what they want. Tell me about the Three of Cups, but is that what you want? Tell me about the Three of Oh, the Empress. Hmm. Judgment. Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles, exactly. They want you, that's for sure. But do you want them? That's, that's going to be the deciding factor here. Because there's a King of Cups here. That's very interested in bringing this offer forward. Tell me about death. Some of you, this is going to be just for a small number of you. A parental figure, most likely a mother, got in the way. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Eight of Pentacles. Mm. Why is death here? Eight of Swords. Well, eight is a number about growth, creativity. Tell me about death. Queen of Swords. I think this person's going to tell you that they have changed or their circumstances have changed. Now, the Eight of Swords also is telling me that um, I feel they thought about this a lot, but they haven't communicated it. So let's keep going. Tell me about the Magician. So this is what you can expect in the near future here. What's this Magician about? Why is the Magician here? Wow, the lovers manifesting, you manifesting a connection, the lovers, Gemini energy, ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, let's make this happen. I'm going to make this happen. I will be with my person. Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Why is the eight of wands here? Wow, the devil. There you are, Capricorn. Why is the eight of wands here? There's the Eight of Wands here. Oh yeah, Queen of Cups. They're, they they are into you. There's the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're going to reach out to you. I'm getting like them thinking of you as this, you know, Queen of Cups. And wanting to contact you. Wanting to move things forward. 
Eight of Wands is a card about action, communication, exchange, you know. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? I already know why the King of Cups here. Yeah, the Emperor. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Emperor, Empress on the board. That does not surprise me. The Emperor with Justice at the bottom of the deck. I mean, the Emperor is a doer. The Emperor likes things in a controlled... Like, they like to have control over the situation. They like to have things in order. Um, they like to... You know, very masculine energy. I think they're driven by how they feel towards you. But their energy, when it comes to all this, is I'm going to make something happen. I'm going to do something about this. Eight of Pentacles. The Magician. Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles, even. Eight of Wands. I'm going to do something about this. Yeah, they just don't know how it's going to be received. The Moon, Pisces energy. Or they might be thinking this behind the scenes you know like maybe you're not aware that this is what they want with you they want to come together they want to reunite um the past returns because we have the past life and coming together so i don't know what's going on i don't know what history you have with this person i could tell you though a tower most likely happened and they were held back from being able to move things along or to take this action that they're taking now for whatever reason and so now it's like i'm back <laughs> i'm back capricorn uh are we going to be able to work on this are we able, are we going to be able to have the world any guidance for this near future energy for capricorn any guidance for this New York future energy. I need guidance. You deserve more, number 39. One more. Any guidance. Act now. Okay. So some of you, I'll be honest with you here. <laughs> Although I guess you already know this um, you deserve more than the action you're getting from this person maybe they are really good talkers but you need to see uh, action not just you know plans not just promises I think a lot of um, a lot of you are dealing with a person who perhaps has changed or enough time has passed for there to be significant changes that have happened um, the, the Queen of Swords here with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like if this person is telling you they're going to work on things or if they're telling you they've worked on themselves or they've improved or changed, I think that is true. I don't think they're just saying that. Um, but once again, you know, maybe you deserve more than just confirmation of what you already know. Or maybe you deserve more than just an idea that this person wants to kind of make happen. Maybe you need to know what exactly, you know, are they going to back up what they say, basically. So I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to know um, a little more about your person's intentions towards you and next possible actions, which I feel is this Eight of Wands. I think there's going to be some sort of communication. So I want to dig deep into that. And then I also want to look at um, basically this world energy. I want to know what's on the other side of that. Um, because I feel like that's what your person wants and that's what you're kind of wondering about. Is that possible? Is the world more of the same or is that something new? What do you need to know about the near future with that? I think that's the promise or the goal that this other person has. Um, I also want to look a little bit at this Eight of Wands too, just to see what else we get in terms of like what this message will be. I think, you know, we had here the Page of Pentacles. I think this is what you're going to be evaluating is, you know, let's go out somewhere. Let's have a drink or a coffee or something like that. Page of Pentacles is 
a pretty small offer. Same with the Page of Wands. They tend to be um, kind of the starting point. Um, I don't see any knights here. I don't see any um, 